The Duval County School Board is moving forward, naming six semifinalists to be considered for the job as the next superintendent. These six were chosen from a field of 20 applicants. News for Jacks reporter Ann Maxwell has been following the superintendent's search for months and is joining us live with a look at what lies ahead for the person who gets the job. Ann? Tom, the next superintendent here is definitely going to be facing some important challenges. At a school board meeting this morning, the board voted relatively quickly to narrow the pool from 20 to 6 applicants. This is the latest in a process that was first set into motion nearly a year ago. Duval County Public Schools are picking a leader at a critical time. Like many districts, it's facing issues with student test scores, absenteeism, and teacher recruitment. Additionally, a billion dollar shortfall in a plan to renovate and rebuild schools coupled with declining enrollment has led to a proposal to close nearly 30 schools, drawing backlash from some families. The district has also been under scrutiny for how it's handled allegations of teacher misconduct in the past, hiring an outside law firm to conduct an investigation, the results of which have yet to be released. When the search process first began last year, more than 3,600 people participated in a survey about the qualities they want to see in the next superintendent. Respondents said they want a superintendent who leads with integrity, has a background in education, and can lead a diverse district. As for the semifinalists, all of them have decades of experience. Here's a little bit about them. Dr. Christopher Bernier was the superintendent of Lee County Schools in the Fort Myers, Florida area from 2022 until resigning recently as he applies for other jobs. That district has about 100,000 students. Adam Taylor has been working as a consultant since 2020 before he was superintendent for two years at Rutland City Public Schools in Vermont, which serves about 2,500 students. Dr. Daniel Smith is chief of staff at Loudoun County Public Schools in Virginia, which has a student population of more than 80,000. Dr. Joe Phillips is the chief information officer at Broward County Public Schools in Fort Lauderdale, which serves more than 260,000 students. Dr. Cheryl Proctor has been deputy superintendent of Portland Public Schools in Oregon since 2022. That district serves more than 44,000 students. Luis Solano has been with the Detroit Public Schools Community District, which has a student population of about 50,000 since 2017, serving as deputy superintendent and chief operating officer. These semifinalists will now answer questions from the board, some with written answers, others with video responses. The Florida School Boards Association, which is helping the district with the search, will also be conducting background searches on those semifinalists. I asked the school board chair, Daryl Willie, how he feels about this group. Yeah, we have some folks who have done the, done the job, similar sized districts before. We have some who've been sort of assistant or second in charge that are ready to make that next move. So it'll be interesting to see how they answer the questions that the board members have come up with. Finalists will be chosen next month. They will be interviewed in Jacksonville and appear at a community meet and greet, the details of which have not yet been announced. The superintendent search originally originally began last year, but was suspended after only a handful of qualified applicants applied. The school board chair told me today that he believes the pool of applicants was more robust this time around because of timing, noting they are now looking for a superintendent who can start in the summer rather than in the middle of the school year. Reporting live from the South Bank and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.